here we are at 10004 Oak Run Drive and um, it's quite a project. One of the things that um, uh, we, we didn't talk about when we talked on the phone was uh, distress sales versus arm's length transactions. Uh, this is actually a foreclosure uh, and foreclosures and short sales qualify as distress and quite often the condition leaves a lot to be desired. Not always. Uh, on this one, um, doesn't look too bad on the outside. When we get inside, it gets a little bit musty. Um, here's Here we are entering the front door. I will apologize in advance. There are no lights on, no electricity. So we come in the front, and the first thing is the we have a sunken living room to the right. Um, and a two-car garage to the left air handler for the air conditioning. Now, um, as we go in, we've got the kitchen dead ahead through that wall. The master suite over here to the right, the rest of the bedrooms and the family room over here to the left. So we'll make this quick. Um, here is the kitchen uh, behind that wall and we'll get another angle of it when we walk in do that into the house. We've got French doors going out to the uh, to the pool, which is uh, a shade of gr uh, green and brown. Um, this will be the dining area. Master suite over here. Master suite's interesting. We've got uh, the brown carpet. We've got the room itself, plus a little sitting room over here. And interestingly enough, no access to the pool. I would fix that and put French doors there. And in fact, it may be that there were French doors there once and somebody took them out. So there's your master suite. Now going into the bathroom is kind of strange because we've got a step up. And then we've got a tub that's elevated uh, about four feet off the floor. And you've got to climb the steps to get into it. Um, little closet to the right. Um, We've got double sinks. We've got uh, another walk-in closet over there, um, and a shower stall here. Um, it's a step down into that closet, which is very peculiar, and uh, a set of French doors that are exterior doors. So that out there is probably a piece of the outdoors that got reclaimed. We'll take a peek and see if we can figure that out later. So, leaving the master suite behind, we'll go back the way we came. There's the front door over there and the sunken living room. And now we'll turn and uh, explore the left-hand side of the house. We've got a utility room over here to the left. We've got the kitchen over here to the right with a nice pass through to the pool. Um, and that's the master suite over there, far, far away. And uh, there's your front door. So. Uh, now we've got a little built-in here in the den, and we've got four bedrooms, or, yeah, four bedrooms over on this side of the house. Um, three of them are here. So dead ahead, we go, we've got a bath um, that's accessible from the hall. Um, Here's one small bedroom that opens up into yet another larger room. Um, and connects to that bath. And then we've got this room, which also connects to a larger room out back, but does not connect to that bath. And then a third bedroom down this way. And this bath to serve it. And all of this is in pretty dire need of renovation. Shower stall, pool bath with a door going out. Uh, and there's our yard, which is superb, with a lake view and a shed out back, and tall oaks. There's your neighbor over there. Here's your covered porch accessible from 
the family room and the living room. And that's about it.